Hi, you will learn how to write HTML code properly today. I teach people web development and many of my students <clears throat> write ugly code, not according to conventions, and I have to tell them how to write it properly again and again. So I decided to record this video and just send them this video and watch this. Yeah, if you look Google HTML conventions, you can find HTML style guide and some coding conventions. You should read this and the yeah close all HTML elements and this one uh, image attributes. Always use the alt attribute with image. It's important when the image cannot be viewed, like mm, screen reader or the image doesn't exist. So always use this alt attribute and they say always define image size it's new for me but you can specify the width and uh, the size of image so don't forget required alt attribute for image tag indent your code properly uh huh yeah they tell that this is unnecessary but if you have code like this, if you have multiple paragraphs, they say that this is better. But if you have multiple paragraphs like this, uh, you can't see the closing tag immediately. You have to search for a closing tag. He's here or is not. You you know the difference. I now if I put the end tag here. I can see here is the start tag and here is the end tag and I should do this so this code this content is inside this paragraph it's clear it's indented by two spaces so I don't see if this P paragraph has or doesn't have uh, the end tag immediately. If I put it on the new line, I can see this P is start here and ends here. So <laughs> this is not better in my opinion. Here are another conventions, but you can read about them. Learn about pair <coughs> and non pair tags. Here are pair tags and unpair tags. Here's an example of pair tag. Start italic text and say that italic text is uh, has end. And there are unpair tags that doesn't have companion tag, like pair, hr, or image. Here is an example of image. I've seen that some people write uh, like closing image, but <laughs> no image doesn't have closing tag so that's difference between closing yeah between <coughs> pair and unpair tags add name attribute for inputs in a form i have an example here and yep i can delete this one this name and if I send the form, I can see just the full name. Because this full name has a name attribute. I don't see these uh, options. For example, North America. Because the form, the select doesn't have name attribute. If I really location. If I add name location, tag I can submit the form and I can see the location yeah and the indentation <laughs> this is wrong because here is a P and this code should be indented here is a label it's okay it's one line here is a select and select has options inside the tag so always indent 
the code where it's in another tag. Don't do something like this because this is not inside, so like this is not inside label. Uh, label is inside P, select is inside P, and options are inside select, so indentation according to parent element. And this value, <coughs> options, if we don't specify value, I will select Africa, which don't, doesn't have value, and this, actually this is, this value is sent because it doesn't have this value specified. If you don't specify this value is sent, if you specify a value, this actual value is, is sent with form. Okay, I have some examples for you which students do wrong code. Yeah, here is a closing p tag and here are some inputs. And they are not inside the P, so they should be put a bit on the left. They shouldn't be indented like this. And yeah, they have the same name attribute checkboxes. Yeah. Here are some examples of checkboxes. And uh, the form, if I select cook, uh, check cooking, submit the form, I can see interest is equal to cooking. Okay. But if I check cooking and programming, or a, a, a biking, I can see interest is equal to cooking, and interest is equal to programming. Um, this is wrong, because interest is key. Uh, and the key must be unique because if I process the form I access the data with key and if I have three keys with the with different values just the, maybe the last one is I get the last one because key is <laughs> unique so interest we can add interest one interest two interest three and now if I refresh it, select, I can see interest 1 is key, is equal to cooking, interest 2 is unique key and is equal to programming. So I can access data with this key. So this was, yeah, the same name attributes for checkboxes. And here is another, like select. Uh, yeah, this select doesn't have name attribute and the options are indented by more, more to more than <laughs> two spaces they are indented by four spaces which is not necessary just they are like this but it's enough if we indent it like by two spaces. Uh, yeah, and name location should be lowercase, not not uppercase. It's a convention that names keys are lowercase. And if we have multiple name, full name, uh, multiple word names. We start with lowercase and the second word is uppercase. Okay, another example here where is which is which is wrong. Here is okay strong lorem ipsum and the lore. And here is a small tag and the small is on new line. This shouldn't be yeah like here. We can say it is small, okay, and we put small here. No, we cannot do this because again, we 
how do I know where this small tag is if just editor doesn't select? We should do something like this. Small on new line and this small opening tag should be on the same line like ending tag. If it has longer content, I would do something like this p or small and indent it like this. So I can see p has some text and inside p is small text and inside <coughs> small uh, tag and inside a small tag is this content. And I can see immediately that small tag ends here. And another content is here. Okay, another example image. Yeah, this image has something like this, or it looks like this image and attribute source, attribute alt, which is not so wrong, but we can put the first attribute on the same line like image and if it's too long we can just oh <laughs> sorry about it editor yeah and then my editor indented it properly on the same level as the source tag is, and I can see image has source tag, alt tag, and maybe we can add title. Okay, so attributes are on the same column. We can see immediately the image tag and attributes. Okay, another example can be, yeah, there is a p tag, <laughs> and inside a p tag, a paragraph is label input, and it ends somewhere here, which is uh, not good. Yeah, I I have it here. So <laughs> it it seems that the paragraph starts here and ends here, but it's not true. It end it ends here, and um, yeah, this is another paragraph that is here and it where it ends. <laughs> I have to search for the end tag. I don't see if it's here or it's not. <laughs> I think this is the end tag. So again, put the end tag on the same column like opening tag if it has more content. This P is okay. Yeah, this div is also, this should be indent. So this was, yeah, here is no select, no indent. <coughs> and I can tell you something about links. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can delete this. A. A no www.google.com Go to Google. Whoop, go to Google. Okay, no, page not found because www.google.com is like mm, it uh, doesn't have specified. HTTP or HTTPS in this case, or it would work work with HTTP. Now HTTP says it's it's a web page, and we can see about here. It will take us to Google. Come on, yeah, 
and we can see here HTTPS it's redir redirected to Google Indent your code properly. Don't forget the required alt attribute for image tag. Learn about pair and non-pair tags. Add name attribute for inputs in a form. And specify different attributes for each checkbox. Another example here is just div wrapper and this is no indented properly. There is the closing div which is on the same column like body, which is wrong. There should be indent. So this was about common HTML mistakes and I hope you will not do the same mistakes again. If yes, I will just send you this video and you will have to watch it. Yeah, here is another like long paragraph which is not quite good we have to divide it into multiple lines like this this okay and yeah the p and uh, should end on the same column and the best way is to do like this so divide multiple <clears throat> multiple uh, long content into multiple lines yeah I think that's all for today <laughs> for today and for this video so learn to write code properly and write your code according to conventions so it's readable and other people than you can read it. Have a nice day.